Shingai Liwayo was a successful public relations executive at El Zimbabwe. She was a mother of two and a loving wife. She had a bright future ahead of her until she met a tragic end in a foreign country. On the 30th of April 2016, she traveled to Botswana on personal business. It was just after attending the Zimbabwe International Trade Fair in Bulawayo. She intended to come back the following day, but she never made it back home alive. She had been lured by a gang of four men from Bulawayo, who pretended to be clients interested in hiring some decoration material and services for a wedding in Botswana. They met her on the border and robbed her of her valuables, including cash, a laptop, electronic gadgets, and a cell phone. They then took her to a bushy area, about five kilometers away from Ramokwebana border post, where they gagged and strangled her to death. They left her body tied to a tree trunk with a piece of cloth stuffed in her mouth. She was bleeding from the nose when a head boy found her body a week after she had gone missing. Her family, who had been frantically searching for her, were notified by the police in Botswana, who had found her body and sent it to a hospital mortuary. Her parents identified her body on May 7, 2016, and a post-mortem was conducted on the 10th of May, confirming that she had died due to strangulation and gagging. Meanwhile, the police in Zimbabwe, with the help of Interpol, launched a manhunt for the suspects, who were known criminals with records in both Zimbabwe and Botswana. They tracked them down using cell phone records and found them in possession of some of Miss Liwayo's personal belongings. The four men were Atuon Diweni, Godfrey Mavurafero, Mkini Klaba, and Domisan Mwe. They were arrested and appeared before a magistrate in Bulawayo, facing murder and robbery charges. They were remanded in custody until the 7th of June, awaiting trial. The brutal murder of Shingai Liwayo shocked and saddened the nation, especially the aviation industry, where she was respected and admired professionally. Her colleagues at Air Zimbabwe described her as a hardworking, dedicated and friendly person who always had a smile on her face. Her husband, Totis Repit Liwayo, and her two children were left devastated by the loss of their beloved wife and mother. They repatriated her body to Zimbabwe and buried her at her rural home in Mashonaland East Province. Her case is one of many examples of cross-border crimes that have claimed the lives of innocent Zimbabweans who fall prey to syndicates that lure them with fake business deals and rob and kill them. It is not clear if these four men were sentenced or if they are in jail in Zimbabwe. I could not find any record to indicate that they were sentenced.